Let's practice a function notation a little bit. Let's suppose I have f of x is equal to, we'll do, how about x over x squared plus 1. And I want to know f of, say, minus 1, f of 0, and f of x plus h. So remember, f of x stands for the function value at x. So at the function value at a particular x, and this is our function. And it's the same thing as y. So if you prefer y, use it, I guess. But the point of this exercise is merely to practice the function notation. So you might just want to practice it even if you don't like using it. So let's do f of minus 1 first. That is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 squared plus 1, which is equal to minus 1 over 1 plus 1, which is equal to negative 1 half. So f of minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. Do the second one. f of 0 is equal to 0 over 0 squared plus 1, and we don't really need to go any further because anything, 0 divided by anything is going to be 0. So f of 0 is equal to 0. And our final one, f of x plus h. So we have f of x plus h is equal to, substitute x plus h in for x, x plus h over x plus h squared plus 1. So anywhere there is an x, we just plug in our function value. So we get, well, let's do the bottom first. So we know how long to make this line here. So we'll foil this out. We'll get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1. And then on the top, we just have x plus h. So this is our f of x, so oh, I don't really have that much room. So f of x plus h is equal to x plus h over x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1. Oops. And this is our final answer. So it looked a little bit like it was going to be hard, but it wasn't. Just put in whatever it says here. Whatever it says here, we just put it into anywhere there's an x. Whatever, whatever this is, doesn't matter what it is. It could be a million terms. It could be one term. You just put these terms wherever there's an x. You simplify it, and you're done. It's that simple. But we'll do one more, and I'll I'll pick a few different things just to mix it up. We'll do. We'll do. How about? f of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus x. And let's find the function values for find the, the function values for f of minus 1. We'll do f of 2x. And here we'll make this one a little bit a little bit tricky. It's not really that tricky, but it's just a little bit different. How about that? We'll do the negative f of x. We'll just leave it at that. So let's begin with this one. So we have f of minus 1 is equal to square root of minus 1 squared 
plus or, or you have an x years. I mean, well, we'll just do plus minus one. How about that? That's going to give us f of minus one is equal to square root of one of minus one squared is positive one minus one which is equal to the square root of zero, which is equal to zero. And it's fine to have a zero under a radical. The only thing that's not okay to have under a radical is a negative number. We can have the square root of zero, that's fine. So we get well, f of minus one is equal to zero. And we're happy about that. Next, we'll do f of 2x. So I have f of 2x is equal to the square root of 2x squared plus 2x. We do 2x squared, which is so this is going to be equal to the square root of 4x squared. Remember, to, remember, this 2 is inside. This 2 is being plugged into the x, so the 2 has to be squared as well. People might make the mistake of just squaring the x, but since both 2 and x are being plugged in here, both of them are being squared. So we're going to get 4x squared plus 2x. So our f of 2x is equal to the square root of 4x squared plus 2x. And this doesn't really simplify it. I mean, what we can do, I mean, we could divide out a 2, I guess, from here. But it's, uh, it's not really going to get much simpler. So, I mean, if we really wanted to simplify it a little bit, it would be 2x squared plus x. But... It's uh, it's not going to simplify any more than that. We can pull out a, a two an x, which would leave us two x plus one, but we're not going to be able to get rid of this radical sign. So we'll just leave it like that, just like this it is fine enough. And the last one is negative f of x. We'll do that one. Negative f of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus x. And this one might look a little bit tricky, but it's actually it's actually very very simple. It's basically saying we're take it's basically the same as having minus y. And I think that's the main reason this throws people off. So this is the same thing as minus y is equal to the square root of 2x squared plus x. And if you were to see it like this, the answer would be just, it would just come instantly to you. The only thing we really need to do is just put the minus sign over to the other side. But sometimes I feel that because people are not used to the f of x notation, they, they kind of lose sight of what it is really. It's just a y. So all we have to do is just multiply the y, the minus sign over to the other side. And it's in fact the easiest problem we've had so far. So we have minus f of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus x. And we just multiply this side over. So just multiply everything by minus 1. And we get f of x is equal to the negative... Remember, this minus sign is outside of the radical, so it's fine squared plus x. And even if there were minus signs under the radical, it would still be okay as long as the function values equal to positive number under the radical. So this is this is it. It was uh, the quickest one yet. And the other reason I picked it is just because of the just to focus on the notation. That's what this section is about. Just focusing on the notation. So never lose sight of the fact that f of x and y are exactly the same thing and like I said in the beginning if it is more helpful to you to write it as y go ahead and do it because that's what we've been doing 
throughout our education so far until now because it's not necessary to introduce this notation until we start going into calculus and that's what this class is essentially preparing for it prepares for pre-calculus which prepare for, prepares for calculus so just keep an just keep an uh, keep a uh, keep an eye out for for that sort of thing where you might become confused just because of the notation if it's helpful to you think of it as why well.